Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LeDuc from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants, hosting every fourth Friday of the month, taking over from Michelle Davis, who's gracious enough to let me take some of her time on the network uh, each, uh, each month. So we're back with Emily Wilson, and Emily was taking a couple of behind-the-scenes pictures for us while we were on the break. So if you go to her Instagram page, she's going to have some behind-the-scenes pictures of what's going on in the studio here. And we always tell you how like tiny the studio is. You'll really get to see, and you'll actually get to see a real green screen behind us instead of, instead of, I mean, no, I don't want to break the illusion. This is like, we're on a, we're on an executive suite right now, right. right? So Emily, welcome back. Thank you for Thanks. being here today. Um, please check out Emily's Instagram. What was that Instagram? again oh, ew photo ew photo so please check that out see the, the behind the scenes pictures and so we were talking a little bit about the foundation and how you got started some of the personal projects you're working on one of the things i do want to understand because i'm not a very artistic person but i but i understand as a creative and an artist it's important to flex your muscles right. what are some of the things you do to flex your artistic muscles to keep from falling into the same routines and doing the same things over and over again as, as an artist so you know, in order to like flex the flex your muscles, you need time from the the, the constant assignments, mm -hmm. right, and the constant editing. So, at, towards the end of the summer, I had a little bit of time, and I got my um, drone pilot license. Oh yeah, we did talk yeah. about this. And so I got a uh, a new Mavic Pro Zoom drone and. I have been having the most amazing time with the video and trying to um, really capture, uh, get great portraits. Mm -hmm. And it's just gonna—it's just a new tool in my in my camera bag for for you know capturing things on on assignment. And um, so I just love that. And I um, Adobe has sort of a new. Um, editing tool it's called premiere rush and it is just okay. for short videos for okay for cool. the web very cool that's so awesome it's perfect. so it's really <clears throat> in order to sort of like i think evolve and grow in in anything you need you need that time so whether it's like i don't know a few weeks or something to sort of try out something new you know and and with the drone um yeah, I mean it's it's been fun. I I really look forward to any day when I've got that um, kind of magic hour yeah. time available. We'll get and, you out of here in time for that. Yeah, yeah. So I, uh, you know, we'll we'll have a friend meet me out in the desert and just shoot a lot of stuff and see what happens. I think that's amazing um, because you literally have shifted your perspective. Not only have you shifted your perspective to some you know something higher and more elevated with the drone but you've also shifted things in time a little bit because you're not right. seeing things real time what right. have you learned mm -hmm. about like how do you take pictures differently or how do you do video differently with that shifted perspective i guess i have more of um i don't know i don't know I was going to say, I, I sort of try to think about the shot more. I think because it's video and the person is going to be moving, mm -hmm. I think about how, what the angles are going to be a little more than than with a still a still shot. Sure. I mean, going from, we talked about you started as a, as a viewfinder kid, right, right, right? right? With film cameras, viewfinder kid, yeah. and now it's all digital, but you're also... You're not behind it. You're That's looking right. at you're looking at uh, kind right. of a, probably a pretty pretty low res screen, and you're not mm -hmm. you're you have to shift your mind about what am I really capturing right. based on what am I seeing on my controls, right? Right, exactly. Um, yeah, the I, I haven't got it dialed in yet. Anybody out there, if you have a, a Mavic Pro Zoom and you're taking great still photos of people with it, will you please? <laughs> message me because I'm watching videos and I'm and I'm really just you know trying to uh, like engage in this whole uh, you know new realm uh, okay. of the drone stuff because people all you know a lot of clients uh, and, and they still they still ask quite a bit you know do you shoot video mm -hmm. and I've always said yes but it takes away from the still photos, you know, mm -hmm. it takes away from that process. So this is a way that I have kind of like jumped that 
and I'm going to just make it all my own. So the more video that I shoot, mm -hmm. the more of a style that I can create, and then I can say, yes, I do. And here is, you know, here are examples of the way that I shoot that video. It is not going to be me holding the camera mm -hmm. like I would for a still photo to capture video. Oh, absolutely. Like, like right. I don't, I don't want to do that. That doesn't, it doesn't interest me. What interests me is that different perspective absolutely. and video. And it's not a super elevated perspective either. It's maybe just, you know, 10 to 15 feet, feet up. And uh, I mean, especially here in the desert, these beautiful mountains that Makes surround Las Vegas. I mean, just a little bit up. I mean, it's the most incredible, incredible composition. It's it so is. So cool. It is. Okay, so drone nerds, yeah. if you're out there, drone nerds. Emily's looking for some help. So Emily Wilson, <laughs> Emily Wilson Photo. Oh, um, so on Instagram, EW Photo. And then uh, emilywilsonphotography.com. And there's a, a way to message me right there. And I want to say hello to my friend Shatoya, who just joined us on the Facebook. Thank you for joining us today. So I think that's what it says. I don't have my glasses on. My vision is getting very, yeah, very see, terrible. Yeah, I see Shatoya. Shatoya, all right. Yeah. So um, speaking of shifting perspectives, speaking yeah. of the desert, speaking of kind of how beautiful Las Vegas is, because it's beautiful in a lot of different ways, mm -hmm. you're very focused on downtown, or you're very right. interested in downtown. Right. What have you learned about Las Vegas, and specifically downtown as a community, from being behind the camera and telling the story, and not necessarily being part of the story? Right. Well, so, right, we got here about six years ago and there was a real different energy. There was kind of, there was a, a lot more people, right, just um, here doing, you know, in the tech, in the tech scene. And, um, and the people that have stayed and the people that have evolved with, as, as, as downtown is evolving, mm -hmm. those people that are... Uh, still there evolving with it um, it's just it's made everybody I think a, a tighter knit um, but I, I think I even found that when we first moved here you know there was this sort of shared you know this immediate friendship because of mm -hmm. the shared experience we were having of like this is crazy you know, yeah. we're just you know, we've come from all over the country but we're all here in downtown, like, did you ever think you'd live in you know, no, downtown Las Vegas? No. No. Um, but, yeah, when, when we came to visit, I just saw so much opportunity, you know. Um, and, and there still is. I think and, there's and a ton. There's so much opportunity. And, I mean, just with the, with the work that I do, whether it's downtown or, where, or wherever it is on the valley, you know, it is an, an, an environment where if you have an idea and you can articulate what it is and who you want to do it for, those people are absolutely accessible absolutely. in getting your, you know, getting your idea to them. So, That's great. Yeah. That's great. Well, you've been doing this a while. Yes. Um, you talked about starting out as a... As, as a viewfinder kid on a film camera, you started with a Canon AE-1. I didn't okay. have an AE-1. I had a Nikon, but I had a couple friends in my photography class in ninth grade who had Canon AE-1s. What have you learned? Tell us about how the change in technology mm. has impacted you as an artist. Tell us, tell us what you've learned over, over all that time. So, let's see. You don't need the fanciest camera to take the best picture. And... It's really fun to try out different, um, you know, like with the drone. And then the next thing that I want to get um, is like a gimbal that you can put on your iPhone. Okay. And um, I want to try. I want to try that out. Um, but yeah, really, with cameras, you know, it comes down to the lens, how much you spend right. on the glass of a lens. But you don't need. You don't need to spend so much money. You just have something that you can make a composition with, mm -hmm. and then just build from that. Someone who's getting started today, yeah. where would you have them start in terms of gear? I mean, um, would you have them start with their phone and just mess around? And no, I would have them pick up a camera. Go buy the most expensive camera you can find, because that's what we do in America, and all of the lenses <laughs> that go with it. 
<laughs> no, don't do that. Mm. Um, no, spend your money on trips to then take your camera and and go. So I would get a 24 to 70 lens. I know that's a Canon um, range. I'm not sure what it is on night. But that's like a basic lens, right? Yeah. That's not a real big zoom. It's, that's not a wide angle. That's no, just like a basic lens. Yeah, it's just a, a great workhorse lens. And... Um, yeah. And our, our friend Steve Haas, who we yeah. met through, is online, he's watching, and he commented okay. that you are the best photographer in Las Vegas. So, so thank you for watching, Steve. <laughs> um, and thank you for let, you know confirming what we already know, that she is the best photographer here in Las Vegas. Aww, that's so, so, so what's the next piece yeah. of gear you're going to get? What about lighting? Oh. What about lighting? Let's do, you want to talk about lighting? we got a couple minutes. We can talk about yeah, lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve just asked about lighting. So with lighting... Las Vegas is so incredible for lighting. We That's why I live here. We have sunshine 250, six days a yeah, year. Yeah, it's all, I mean, all the days we have. <laughs> like the other day we didn't, that was the right, one we don't get it. Right. So there's so many ways to work with the light that we, that we have here. And yeah, don't go buy lights. Use what, use what we've got. And then I think you need to start small and just fill in a little bit of light where there's where there's shadow. So it sounds like the idea is learn composition. Yes. If I can summarize. Yes. Learn composition. Learn to do good composition with the lighting you've got. And then as you start as you as you start to develop that that artistic eye through practice, which you will, you know, everyone can develop through practice, right. you can say, if I had a little more light here, that's it right. could be just that it could be just that much better. That's right. that's kind of what I'm hearing. Yes, exactly. So. Yeah. And there's um I, I use this setup, it's uh so lightweight. It it would not work in a super windy outside condition mm -hmm. unless you had an assistant to hold it. Okay. But Paul Buff, Paul C. Buff. Uh, they make really inexpensive, lightweight equipment. And okay. um, yeah, anybody starting out, I would say go with it. Okay. Yeah. So there's some, there's some stuff you can get to kind of go get started. Learn composition, learn the skills, learn the fundamentals is what I'm hearing. And then as, as, as you start to flex your artistic muscles, which is where we started the segment, as you start to flex your artistic muscles, start to add in the things that'll make it just a little bit better. Right. And the, you know, what's really great actually is the, the, you know, that there's so much information that photographers are sharing now. Okay. Right. Which when, when I came up, you, you really just had to, you know, like physically see a photographer work for them and figure out how they did it. You know, mm -hmm. and now you go online and there's, t you know, you could just, there's tons of information out there. So I think the more that we share, mm -hmm. the better we all get, whether that's about lighting or business or, you know, all the aspects, it benefits us to talk and share. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. that, it's that rising tide lifts all boats kind right. of thing, right? Exactly. So what's a, what's a great resource someone getting started or someone who's kind of playing around with this can use? What's something you go use or, or if they're different, what's a great resource to get started and then what's a great resource that you use? So for business, would you say? For photography, business, whatever you want to share. We got time. We got another segment coming. Yeah. So, <laughs> so let's see. Oh gosh. Um, I don't really know. Uh, I'm trying to think. Well, so there are, um, I know in Las Vegas here, there is a um, photographer's Facebook group. Okay. And they are super helpful with knowing whether or not you can shoot in different places. Okay. So if you need a permit. So that's that's sort of like in, a, in an area where you're like, oh, I wonder, you know, you know, wonder if I have to get a permit to shoot mm -hmm. in front of the Smith Center. Um, and uh, yeah, everybody's super helpful on that. Okay. There's also, they sell uh, gear on there and there lots of people are like looking for a second assistant or a second camera, you know, weddings are obviously very huge here. Yeah, so, we do a little bit of that here. <laughs> so weddings and events and, and there's a, right, there's a Facebook group for that that is like, hey, I need, I need help on Saturday and here's the rate, you know? Okay. And so I think working alongside, so coming up, working alongside uh, a photographer who's been in the business for a while is the best way to learn. Yeah, and that's not just if you want to be a photographer. Mentors are great no matter what business you're in. So right. Emily, we're going to close out this segment. We're going to have you back 
after a, after a little break, but tell everyone where they can find you again. Okay, so new website just launched, emilywilsonphotography.com, and you can find me on Instagram at ewphoto. All right, thank you, Emily. We'll have you Thanks. back in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I'm Jason LeDuc from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. This is Geeks Are Sexy, fourth Friday of the month show. We will be right back. Don't go anywhere.